What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, you know, I'm into <laughs> vacuum cleaners lately, so I bought this one and I picked it up on Amazon. It's from Whole Life. That's where it uh, at least advertises itself from. And I picked it up because it's a cordless vacuum, kind of like a dust buster. I have a couple of dust busters that I really like. They are super convenient. I actually picked up a second one because they're convenient to have upstairs, downstairs, and in various places. But I picked this one up too because this one seemed to be really feature rich. And I really was looking for a vacuum cleaner that not only could I maybe keep in the garage uh, to vacuum out my car, I know that's a problem a lot of people have, um, but you know, to do some other things like around my fireplace, I have uh, dirt and uh, debris and ash and stuff like that that kind of seeps out. So I picked this one up because it has a, several different attachments and there it is. All right, so let's take a look at the whole life handheld cordless vacuum cleaner because it certainly does come with quite a bit of stuff here and it comes with this charging stand which is pretty robust it looks like the cord is already installed there's a little channel here to run the cord out the back and then it plugs into just any non-grounded outlet and so it looks like it fits in just like this all right bingo man so that's pretty easy uh, and that will certainly be nice to be able to just grab it. You could certainly put it on a workbench or something like that. Uh, the plug is kind of like your standard, uh, typical laptop type of cord or plug um, that you're pretty familiar with, but it's nice, it just jumps in there. And that's one of the things that my more expensive dust buster I really like because it, it just falls into the charging station. Uh, I don't like it so much when you have to take a cord and plug it in. Now the button, the power button here is taped down it's nice and compact and a very aerodynamic. It comes with a kind of an aardvark nose extension here. It looks like it's maybe six or seven additional inches. That should slide right in here and uh, nice and secure. Gets in between seats, uh, in between seat cushions, though that type of thing. This one, it's a uh, brushed uh, nozzle, so that's probably pretty good for working on uh, carpet, on fabric and getting in uh, grout in between cracks and uh, floorboards or tile or hardwood. And then it has this more flat attachment. And there are a little bit, uh, there's kind of teeth here. This is rubberized, so it's a little bit flexible. And uh, I think this is kind of used for maybe kind of hard flat surfaces. I think this is the one that I've even seen them be able to pick up like a bowling ball with it. So if we take a look at the handheld back itself. The handle is right back here, power button right here, indicator light there, and so the power button just flips up and down, and very, very sucky, and not sucky like me, like the Panda, just it sucks. It sucks in a good way. Button here to open it up, and you can see there uh, that's where the motor will suck in and then it has one of these paper filters which is kind of a traditional or typical style filter and then it has a, um, a bracket inside and so what it looks like it's doing is there's a, a channel right here it's a few inches thick that's where things will get accelerated into the reservoir and then what ends up happening is this little bracket in here the air is being sucked here and then this kind of um, uh, ridge right here kind of bifurcates that airflow kind of like the front the bow of a boat and the air flows around here and is being sucked in through the top so the air is being drawn in the front and then pulled around this and then sucked in that top so there's kind of a fairly elaborate airflow uh, stream that that happens so you put that in and as you can see here it might be a little tough but the air is coming in here and being brought underneath the opening there all right and then this just goes back in here it only goes one way this this bottom piece only fits in one way little tab on the bottom that you have to hook in first on the top snaps shut and then you can you're off the vacuum put in your different attachments and you're ready to go so let's go ahead and just give it a little test. All right, 
Alright guys, so in front of my fireplace here, and as you can see, you know, loading wood and ash that falls out when you're working on it and putting in wood and, and attending to the fire, and then stuff down here caught into the, uh, into the grooves and the grout too. So, um, some pretty big pieces, as well as a lot of little fine pieces and some sticks. And so, let's give the uh, whole life vacuum cleaner a little shot here. So there it is guys, seemed to suck in uh, things, even the big stuff, that stick got in there and so as you can see, my fireplace is nice and clean. So, a whole life vacuum cleaner, pretty impressed with it. Check it out, I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out!